hello and welcome to my science tutorials in today's video we want to learn how to convert fractions to decimals so without further ado let's begin so let's start by looking at a very simple example so we have to convert 1 over 2 to decimal so how do we do this now in order for us to convert this fraction to decimal what we need to do is to do simple division we do that by writing down the root sign then the denominator that we have over here, which is this guy, this is the denominator. The denominator. And then the top number is the numerator. So the numerator, which is at the top, comes inside the division sign. And then the denominator stays outside of the root sign. now from here all we have to do is to do the division now how many times you ask yourself how many times will two go into one it is not possible for two to divide one so it will go there zero times we add point over here and then we add zero to the one so it now becomes 10 so it means that it will not go there whole number it will go there a decimal number of times so now, how many times will 2 go into 10 now? 2 will go into 10 5 times, or 10 divided by 2 is 5. So it means, yeah, 2 will go into 10 5 times. 5 multiplied by 2 will give us 10. And if we subtract 10 from 10, we get 0. So our answer, 1 over 2 to decimal, is equal to 0 0.5. Alright, let's have a look at another example so let's say we have 1 over 10 so example number 2 1 over 10 how do we solve this problem now like I said earlier on the first thing we need to do is to write down our root sign then the number at the top comes under the division sign or the root sign and then the 10 outside the 10 as the denominator here will come outside over here now we ask ourselves how many times will 10 go into 1 it is not possible so we write 0 at the top add a point and then we add 0 to the 1 it now becomes 10 now how many times will 10 go into 10 it will go there 1 times because 1 multiplied by 10 will give us 10 and so therefore if we subtract 10 from 10 we get 0 or dash dash so it means that this implies that 1 over 10 is equal to 0 0.1 as decimal. As decimal. All right. So let's have a look at uh, more examples. So let's say we have 3 over 10. 3 over 10. We have to convert this to decimal. So let's go ahead and look at that. So we have 3 under the root sign. And then we have 10 outside so 10 will go into 3 0 times or it is not possible so we write 0 we add the dot and then we add 0 to the 3 now 10 will not go into 30 how many times 30 divided by 10 is 3 so we have 3 here at the top 3 multiplied by 10 will give us 30 and this is equal to 0 so 3 over 10 as a decimal is 0 0.3 as we can see over here all right so let's have a look at uh, other examples so let's say I have 3 over 5 3 over 5 and I'm to convert this to decimal what is going to be my answer so from here I write down my root sign I bring the 5 outside and then the 3 inside now I ask myself like we said earlier on, how many times will 5 go into 3? It is not possible. 5 cannot divide 3. So we write 0 at the top, we put point, and then we add 0 to the 3. Now I ask myself once again, how many times will 5 go into 30? 5 will go into 30 6 times. So I have 6 here. 6 multiplied by 5 will give me 30. So therefore, 3 over 5 as decimal is equal to 0 0.6. So 3 over 5 
as decimal is equal to 0 0.6 all right so let's have a look at another example so we have 3 over 4 and we are to convert this to decimal as usual we write down our root sign then the denominator which is the 4 is outside the 3 which is at the top is inside now we ask ourselves this question how many times will 4 go into 3 it is not possible 4 cannot divide 3 so we will put 0 at the top we add decimal point then we add 0 to the 3 now we ask ourselves again how many times will 4 go into 30 now 4 will go into 37 times and 7 times 4 that will give us 28 so if we do the subtraction 30 minus 28 will give us 2 as our answer here so 2 just 2 now how many times will 4 go into 2 it is not possible so we add another 0 over here so just so that you are not confused the 0 over here I can ignore it because it is just 2 so I add 0 to the 2 now note that after adding the 0 here I'm not supposed to put any dots at the top no the moment I brought the first dot is okay. Any other zero that you add subsequently, you don't add dots at the top. So from here, I now ask myself, how many times will 4 go into 20? 4 will go into 20 5 times. So I write 5 at the top over here. 5 multiplied by 4 will give me 20. And 20 minus 20 is equal to 0. So therefore, it means that 3 over 4 as decimal is equal to 0 0.75 over here all right so let's try other examples to really appreciate what we are doing over here let's try some one or two more examples so i have here 5 over 10 to decimal this is a very simple example so you can go ahead and try your hands on this so this is number one number two let's look at uh, i have seven over ten as number two we have to convert it to decimal so let's try our hands on that and then number three um let's do two over five two over five as a decimal all right so you can pause the video and then try your hands on these examples all right so let's have a look at the first example that we have so we have 5 over 10 this implies that i write my root sign my 10 is outside and then 5 is under the root sign now i ask myself the usual question how many times will 10 go into 5 it is not possible 10 cannot go into 5, rather 5 will go into 10. So I put 0 at the top, I add the point, then I add 0 to the 5. Now, how many times will 10 divide 50? 10 will go into 50 5 times. So 5 multiplied by 10 is 50, and this 50 minus 50 is 0, or I can put dash dash over here. So it means 5 over 10 is equal to 0 0.5 all right let's have a look at the second example which is 7 over 10 so just like we did for 5 over 10 we are going to do the exact same thing over here we have 7 under the root sign and then 10 outside the root sign so i ask myself again how many times will 10 go into 7 it is not possible so I write 0 at the top, I add my decimal point, I add 0 to the 7. So I ask myself again, how many times will 10 go into 70? It will go there 7 times. So 7 multiplied by 70, sorry, 7 multiplied by 10 is 70. And 70 minus 70 will give me 0. So therefore, 7 over 10 is equal to 0 0.7 as a decimal. Now let's have a look at the final example that is 2 over 5 2 over 5 so from here 
what we do is we put our five under sorry we have our two under the root sign and then five outside the root sign so i ask myself again how many times will five go into two it is not possible so i write zero at the top here i add dot and then i add zero to the two so i ask myself again how many times will five go into 20 you know that five times four is 20 so it means five will divide 20 four times so we have four at the top over here four multiplied by five will give me 20 so therefore my answer 2 over 5 is equal to 0 0.4 percent sorry 0 0.4 as a decimal so thank you so much for watching this is how we convert fractions to decimals it's very simple you just ask yourself some series of questions and you are good to go now there are more complex examples that we can try back in this video we just look at the basics so thank you once again for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye